and steady state angular velocity of rotor is equal to angular velocity of stator. Load angle delta is maintained between them. Then part occurs, rotor accelerates, increasing the load angle delta. After the part is clear, the data returns to steady state, but due to inertia, rotor swings further. Rotor makes a few more swings before settling at steady state. The equation describing a swing of rotor is called swing equation. Swing means that rotor swings around a steady state point before settling at it. Swing, oscillations and hunting are one and the same thing. Similar velocity of stator flux is constant. Only rotor or rotor flux swings relative to the stator flux. Swing is also called oscillation. Rotor oscillates before coming to steady state. Swing is also called hunting. Rotor hunts the final position after oscillation. Let us derive swing equation. Accelerating force is equal to ma, where accelerating force is equal to applied force minus opposing force. Similarly, accelerating torque is equal to J alpha, where J is moment of inertia, alpha is angular acceleration. Accelerating torque is equal to applied torque minus opposing torque. Angular acceleration alpha is equal to rate of change of angular velocity of rotor omega r. Therefore, accelerating torque is equal to J d omega r by dt. Omega r is equal to omega s plus d delta by dt. Omega s is angular velocity of stator flux. Therefore, accelerating torque is equal to j d omega s by dt plus d square delta by dt square. Omega s is constant. Hence, d omega s by dt is equal to 0. Thus, accelerating torque is equal to j d square delta by dt square. Multiplying both sides by omega r and substituting omega r t a c with t acceleration and omega r j with angular momentum m, we get accelerating power is equal to m d square delta by dt square where accelerating power is equal to mechanical input power minus electrical output power. This is called swing equation.